Hello guys! So for today we're gonna need a sheet of paper, we're going to need scissors, we're going to need a pencil, probably eraser, um, and our crayons. Alright, so we should know by now what retablos are. So first we're gonna start with the basic shape, our outline, right? What a retablo is. Let's start. As you can see, the first part of a retablo is like a squarish bottom and then a triangular top. Let me make a triangle here and then another triangle. We don't really need to make a square because our paper is kind of shaped like a square anyways. So it's okay. Now, another thing that is very apparent in our retablo, but if you want to, you can make the outline. So another thing that's very apparent in our retablo image is that the borders are red. Okay. So you see I'm not the best. You can also use a ruler. I just decided not to, but if you want to, you can get a ruler as well. Let me see. Oh yeah, here. You can get a ruler and that'll be easier to make your line straight. Okay. So let me find red because the outline in all the retablos if you haven't noticed from the images that I showed you, um, are red. So I'm gonna get my red Crayola. Hopefully this is red. Let's see. Ooh, it's a dark red. Um, let's get the right red. I'll be right back. There you go. So let's start. Oh, I did it with the wrong red. <laughs> it was this one. So I'm gonna start just going to outline with red gonna make sure that we go over it our lines and turn the page I'm holding my paper so it doesn't move. If I don't hold it, it's gonna stay. It's gonna start moving around and then you see what happens? It moves around when I try to color it. So I'm just going to hold it with one hand. So it won't. happen <laughs> it's okay though I'm gonna make a beautiful retablo now you can do the inside any color that you want but I'm gonna try to do it just like the picture okay so but if you like other colors if you don't like for example we're gonna be using or I'm gonna be using at least um, the purple that's there, the yellow with orange, the magenta. 
um, make sure that you have other colors, other crayons to color with. Okay. Ooh, and make sure also when you're coloring that it's like, you know, nicely done. We want to have it like very, whoop, red. You know, nicely red, no white parts on my red, and so on. Now let's do the door part. The door doesn't really have red here in the middle, but I'm just going to add it because I feel like otherwise it won't look like, or maybe I should use black. So I'm going to... I'm gonna get my black. Where's my black? Black. There you go. So, boy, yeah, but there. Very fine black line with my crayon because I just want to make sure that you guys. Notice it, they're like the two doors. Okay, now let's get an orange, a nice orange and a nice yellow. Why? Because we're gonna make our sun here. But again, if you don't wanna make a yellow sun, that's okay. You can get whatever material you have in your hand and do that. Da, da, da. I feel like the sun should be even bigger. It's too little compared to what it is in the in the actual retablo. So I'm gonna make it bigger. Okay. Okay. We're making this like half a circle and try not to touch the black. We should have done the black af before, like after I was done with the door. Because now it's gonna be like, ooh, like a little bit tricky. Okay, now I'm gonna get magenta. So guys, I paused the video for a second because I just wanted to gather the colors that I'm gonna use because every time I stop doing one thing, I will go back to my crayon box and just be like, wait, let me see which other color is next, like purple, and then it would take me so long to find it. So with that being said, now that I have my colors that I'm gonna use for this whole project, now I can start. So, I mean, continue, right? So we already did the circle with yellow, and then now we're continuing doing the border orange, right and make sure that you can see that orange and it's not too thin 
but it's also not super thick, right? We just want to make it visible. Like the sun. Okay, and now we're going to do the beautiful little leaves. Okay, let's go. So, I'm going to start here. Embrace yourself, because we start with a semicircle, right? Here, I'm going to try to zoom as much as I can. And then, or like a letter C, I guess that's better, right? And then we go and color it just a little bit. Ta-da! Gorgeous. Next, we do the same thing. And we color it again, similarly. Ta-da! Awesome. And we continue, we're going to go do that for the whole border. So I'm going to fast forward, or I might just like cut the clip, uh, depending how long this is going to take me, um, and show you the final result for just this part, and then we're going to move on to the other areas of our drawing, okay? Alright guys, so there you there we are with our nice sun or flower here. Now we're gonna do the green leaves. So I'm gonna move my paper like this in order to do the top leaves. And here I was doing a color palette and it's okay because that's why we need the scissors. We're gonna cut this part here. So, no worries. Our two leaves are done. This one's a little bit skinny, so let me make it a little bit thicker. And then I'm going to color it on the side. Now we're going to do a circle and a nice line. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing. And we're going to do it on the other side. 
So if you like, you can also see this as like a symmetry line where like everything that we do on one side, we're gonna do the same thing on the other. So let's go. A little circle and a line. Okay. All right, and now we're gonna do. Now that we have this very nicely done, we're gonna do similar to these ones right here. We're gonna do here, but it's gonna be a different color. I'm gonna choose purple. Oh, you can choose whatever color you may want and we're gonna do three of these but long ones okay so let's go let's do it Nicely done. Now let's go and do the next one. We're gonna do ready. Make sure you're looking from this angle. We're gonna go all the way up like wings. Line down. Two and three. Woohoo! Nice. And then we have a line here.
Ta -da! Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Like wings. Woo! And then it goes down. One, two, three. Perfect. And now we're going to go and do small little petals, but right here on the top. Perfect. Ahora, let's do this other side. Okay, and now we're gonna do the same thing that we did here, but in the bottom part. So let's go. Okay guys, go to part two to finish the project.